Um, since late afternoon, Greater Manchester police officers have been faced with extraordinary levels of violence from groups of people intent on shameful criminality um, against, against the people and the communities of Greater Manchester. Shops have been targeted, they've been looted and set on fire, as criminals have, I think, brought shame upon the cities particularly of Manchester and Salford, and brought no sense of uh, any understanding about the impact of their actions. With no sense of the impact that they can have on terms of people, their livelihood, on the reputation of these cities, these are pure and simple criminals who have been running wild tonight across Greater Manchester, particularly in the city centre and in Salford. And I want to make it absolutely clear, they have nothing to protest against. There is nothing in a sense of injustice and there's been no spark which has led to this. This has been senseless violence and senseless criminality on a scale that I have never witnessed before in my career. Officers of Greater Manchester Police and other emergency services have been attacked while these people intent, hell-bent on looting and stealing property have shown complete disregard for, their, for the safety of the emergency services and also for the people of Greater Manchester. This has been an incredibly challenging situation. And my officers are out there now still facing incredible levels of aggression and violence and still making arrests as we battle to regain control here in Manchester and Salford. We have been inundated with support from our communities about how much they want to support Greater Manchester Police in bringing these people to justice. And I would ask everybody who has any information with regard to anybody who has committed acts of violence, burglary, looting, theft tonight to pass that information on to Greater Manchester Police. We will continue to make arrests as the evening progresses. But again, I want to be very clear on this point. We have extensive CCTV footage of all the activity that has gone on tonight in Greater Manchester. We have made it absolutely clear that as early as tomorrow, we will come and arrest people who have been committing acts of violence and criminality against Manchester and Salford and other parts of Greater Manchester. I would like to thank all of our communities, other forces in the region who have supported us with resources over this evening, and our partners, without whose support and help, we would have had an even harder task today. I believe that Manchester and Salford has been shamed by these criminals this evening, and we will leave no stone unturned in bringing to justice those people who have committed these wanton acts of violence and criminality. I'm very proud of Greater Manchester police officers who have worked tirelessly over the few hours um, that we've been facing this violence and continue to put themselves at risk in terms of protecting life and property. And I would ask all members of communities across Greater Manchester to think very carefully and seriously about who they support and who they want to bring to justice for these acts which have ripped the heart out of two great cities. Thank you very much indeed. All of Manchester condemns this criminal and thuggish behaviour and people in Manchester and people in Salford are very angry about what's been done to their city and their city centre. I witnessed it at the start of it at, uh, outside Marks and Spencers at five o'clock tonight and I was shocked and horrified to see the ages of some of these hooligans and thugs. We're talking about nine, 10, 11 year olds with balaclavas on walking up the main shopping street in Manchester as though it was a fantastic night out and that they could uh, jump on the shops, jump on people as they went up uh, Market Street. People are very, very angry in the city and do want to see, as Gary Shoon said, these people before the courts as soon as possible and pay for the consequences of their action.
And we've got to ask households in Manchester as well, because this is not all the solution of the police or the solution of Manchester City Council. Those people who have took home trainers tonight, jeans, bottles of spirits, bottles of booze, boxes of food, you've got to ask yourself, if you're a parent, how did your teenage son in the main or your teenage daughter come across these goods? And you've got a duty to phone Greater Manchester Police if you are a true Mancunian and you believe in Manchester. Manchester people love their city and, and this destruction of the city centre tonight is one of the worst and the worst days that Manchester's ever seen. In true Manchester spirit, though tomorrow, it's very important that Manchester gets back to work. In the economic situation at the moment, we have to make sure people can go about their livelihoods and their jobs. So the council will be cleaning up Manchester City Centre overnight, and from tomorrow morning, most of the councillors will be out in the city centre helping with that clean-up. And we've already had loads and loads of offers from the real Mancunians who want to come and clean up and protect their city. This is one of the worst days in Manchester's history.